guys, Sean here, and I want to do a video about the toughest steels that I've ever found. Before we talk about these blades right here, I just want to talk about the toughest stainless steel PM project. We're kind of holding off on this right now. I've got some people actually really helping me out. A guy by the name of Josie, Twin Dog, he's actually sending me a USB microscope so that we can actually see what's going on at the edges here because I think there's some really interesting stuff to check out before we move on to the utter destruction testing because we are going to destroy these knives for learning. But before we move on to destruction, we're going to go ahead and see what else we can learn from these edges before we move on to the total destruction testing. All right, so set those aside for now because that's not the point of this video. This video, we're going to talk about the toughest blade steels that I've come across. That's going to be Vanix and 4V. So Vanix is incredibly tough. And what I mean by toughness is its ability to hold its shape at the apex. I'm not really concerned with the actual blade uh, toughness at all because I've actually dropped the thickness down. This is only about eighth inch is where it started on the uh, stock. This one's about 330 seconds, so even thinner. And so we've removed its ability to be incredibly durable on the blade itself because I'm not sword fighting with these things. Nobody uses these things for battle or anything like that. A knife is made to cut stuff. It's not made to pry, chisel, scrape, and uh, torque on stuff. It's made to cut. It's made to be incredibly strong at the edge in one direction cutting stuff. And so we've removed that ability from these knives to make it so that we can really see what's going on at the edge. It's all about the edge. The edge is what cuts, not the knife. The knife just supports the edge. You have to wrap your head around that. So what I've done with these blades right here is I've taken the incredibly tough properties of these materials, the Vanix and 4V, and we've dropped it to the utmost extreme. And we found that 4V is probably one of the toughest materials on the planet when it comes to holding its shape at the edge. Now, I'll show you guys where we're at, at the thickness behind this bevel right here. This looks like a micro bevel. That's actually 15 degrees per side. Yeah, we're about seven thousandths right there behind that bevel. So we're talking incredibly, incredibly thin behind the edge, under 10 thousandths. Most of your kitchen knives are going to be at 20 thousandths behind the edge, your Western-style German Hinkles and stuff like that. You know, an incredibly sharp knife is going to be about 15 thousandths. 10 thousandths is about the limit. That's where you're going to find on your Japanese knives. And so seven thousandths is really, really incredible. So with 4V, you're able to do that. You're able to take it to an extreme geometry and expect that toughness and strength to hold its shape, even with some abuse at the edge. If you accidentally ding it on stuff or this and that, it's not going to chip, so it's incredible. And I found that Vanix was able to do that as well, but Vanix is much softer. Vanix can only reach about 60 HRC. If you push the HRC, you remove all of the incredible stainless properties of this material right here. So I didn't jump this one as thin. It's tough for what it is. It's one of the toughest. This is the toughest, actually, powdered metallurgy stainless steel. But we're exploring some of the more conventional powdered metallurgy stainless steels. This is very exotic and very expensive. Let's move this one out of the way for now. And I want to talk more about 4V because it's an incredible steel. The fact that we're at 64 HRC and tougher than most steels is just insane. You know, we're tougher at the edge, I want to say. So right now we've got an 800 grit diamond waterstone edge. That's about the only way you can really sharpen this material to bring up the utmost sharpness. We have it with a one micron, just buttery smooth. I mean, where are you going to get a knife that cuts like that? You have to have a geometry just tuned up for maximum performance. And so just insanity right there. And here's the best part is that it doesn't chip. So hitting it on the stainless hotel pan, we could see that we do it's not immune to damage. Actually, Jesus, I don't, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Let's see on the paper. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, 4V, 4V hands down is the toughest steel I've ever come across in my life. It doesn't mean it's the best steel in the world because it's not going to have the wear resistance or edge holding of Maximet, S110V, M390. Uh, I don't even think it maybe cuts as long as some other steels. But the fact that you can blend some such great properties into a material, a material that can get down to under 10 thousandths and still be incredibly tough at the edge is incredible. Uh, you know, if you wanted it to be super good at batoning, you'd have to make it much thicker 
not just to reduce the uh, the factors of it breaking, but also just so it actually does batoning good. You need a thicker knife to baton. Batoning is all about splitting the wood apart, spreading the wood apart. So I find it common sense that you wouldn't baton a knife that thick because it's not going to do shit. You know, because batoning is about spreading the wood apart and breaking it at the top and keeping that split going all the way down. But for some people, it's not that obvious. So a thicker knife is going to be something you'd want to baton. Maybe something about like, I'd say starting at about 3 16 thickness at the spine there. That's 0.187. That's when you want to start looking at maybe doing some batoning. Anything under that thickness is just going to be too anemic for batoning. But yeah, just wanted to talk about this 4V blade steel. I think that there's some properties to crew wear that are probably going to be more beneficial for what some people are looking for. Because one problem with 4V, it looks like, is that unless you're using a diamond water stone, the, the shit sharpens like glass at 64 HRC. So that's about the only stone that's going to cut the shit. And the uh, edge taking ability... You got to stick with it a little bit to really bring up that edge. And the burr removal isn't very, it doesn't come off very, very clean compared to some other steels. Like the Nitro V, the burr comes off instantly. With this steel, it takes a few more passes to really get that burr off. But yeah, it, I've never seen any material this tough at the edge before. And so the beauty of 4V looks like, yes, you could make it a new, like an indestructible type knife. It looks like if you beef up the geometry. But the beauty, I think, in 4V is by taking geometry down to its utmost limit. And, wow, yeah, it's really able to be super incredibly stable there at the edge. So, very enjoyable. Good stuff, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Cool. You take it off any sweet jumps? I don't even have a unit. Number. Just shots, pigs, mm -hmm. lucky. What is